Good morning, today everyone. Welcome to today's level three different strokes exercise program. Um, I hope you're having a lovely start to the holiday season. So um Merry Christmas. As you can see, I've we've done, put up our decorations. It's a little bit more Christmassy themed here. Um unfortunately I don't have my Santa hat yet. I need to go to a local B&M and buy one. Um so yeah, be expecting that next week to be wearing a Christmas hat. Um I hope. You guys will be finding the last themes exercise programs to be quite um, good and beneficial for you guys over the uh, month of November. Just working more mobility and posture. Um, we're going to be going towards the end of the year, making sure that you guys are staying as fit and healthy as you possibly can do, but also not drinking too much eggnog or whiskey or wine or whatever you guys are drinking. Um, we're going to just work on generally improving lower limb strengthening so that. You can walk further distances, you're not getting fatigued as quickly, working on core strength to help improve your balance so that you feel a bit more confident, you know, after having a few too many drinks, um, to be able to balance as you're walking around the house and enjoying um, time with your loved ones, and also working on shoulder strength so that, you know, you can you can reach up to grab a biscuit out of the cupboard or um, just help to reach over to grab the last Yorkshire pudding before um, somebody else nicks it on Christmas Day. So um, the theme for today um, is we've got four um, exercise programs. Each has got three exercises in it. Um, and each one, they're just repetitions. We're not doing timing. So a lot similar to the um, one we did in November. So there's not going to be timing to this one. So you don't have to worry about rushing for a minute. Um, just take your time with them. Most of them are 10 reps. Some of them you will have to hold a position for a few seconds just to make sure that we load the muscles correctly. Um, and yeah, we'll get straight into it. So to begin with, we're going to be doing weighted tricep dips. Now for this one, we are going to have to do it in seated and you are going to need a weight for this one. But all we're going to be doing is perch on front of that seat, like so, leaning forward. We're just going to pull the weight to our chest. We're going to do 10 of these. Okay, so ready and go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lovely. Right, now for the next one, apologies for the squeaking by the way, we're going to be doing hamstring bridges. Now you can do these in seated or on a sofa, um, don't worry if you can't quite transfer down to the floor, um, get you in your rehabilitation process, because these can be done on a bed or on a sofa, or done in seated. So to do it in seated, what we're gonna be doing is you're gonna have legs out like so, not completely straight, with a slight bend in the knee, heels are gonna be in the floor, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna push your heels into the floor, hold for three seconds, and then release. And we're going to do that 10 times. Now, if you want to do it on a sofa, what you can do is you can lay on your back. So laying on our back, heels are in, the, on, um, are in the sofa, and we're just lifting our bum off the sofa and then back down again, okay? And the same principle again, holding for three seconds and doing it 10 times. So without further ado, we'll get straight into it. So three, two, one and go. So pushing down, one, two, three, and relax. That's one. And again, one, two, three, that's two. Again, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, Seven, one, two, three, eight, and one, two, three, nine. Last one, one, two, three, and ten. Excellent. Right, moving on to the next one. You're going to need a cushion for this one. We're going to be doing seated crunches. So with that cushion in the chair, like so. You don't need a weight for this one. But all we're going to be doing is we're going to be reaching down towards the floor. And then arms come up above our head. Now, what I want you guys to do is just hold it for a second or two up in this position before reaching back down, just to stretch out our core, stretch out our back. 
So we'll start in three, two, one, and go. Coming down and up. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Lovely. Now we're going to be going into our first break. So if you guys need to have a quick drink, please feel free to grab one. If you need a break, please press the pause button. I'm going to carry on going throughout the exercises. And if you guys are happy to, then you're more than welcome to join me. But if not, like I said, press the pause button and join us back in just a moment. So the next one we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing push-ups. So we're going to be doing these on the chair. So you can take that cushion away. And all we're going to be doing is holding onto the chair and we're just going to be coming down and up like so and we're just going to be doing 10 of these okay so we'll start in five four three two one and go down one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Moving on to the next one, which is going to be standing as well. You're going to need a resistance band for this one. And you may need help just to tie it up quickly. Um, now, if you've got a normal ferro band, you'll need to tie it up. However, if you've got a resistance band that's already like mine, that's already formed like a circle, then that's better and a lot easier to use. We're just going to place it just under our knees like so. And all we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing squatted side steps. So holding on to a chair or side unit, we're going to be in a squatted position. Now we're only going to do 10 of these, but what you're going to do is you're going to step out to the side and step back again. And then stepping to the other side and stepping back again. Okay. And we're going to do it just until we get to 10. Okay. And we'll just change the directions each time. So starting in three, two, one, and go. Stepping out, one, back in, two, other side, three, back in, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're done there. Well done. Taking that band off, what we're then going to be doing is going back into the chair and we're going to be doing knees to chest to work on our core next. So for this one, both feet are going to be coming off the floor at the same time. And all we're going to be doing is we're going to be coming up like that, holding onto the arms of our chair and doing it 10 times. Okay. So we'll be starting in three, two, one and go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, relax there for a moment. Everybody go and grab a quick drink and um, we're moving into our second break. Um, and again, if you need time to um just rest, feel free to press the pause button. I'm gonna Go straight into the next set of exercises. So if you're ready to, um, please join me for the next one. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing shoulder flexions with a weight. So this is going to be seated as well. And all we're going to be doing is holding on to that weight and we're coming up above the head and back down. We're going to do 10 of these. Okay, so without further ado, we'll get started. Three, two, one, and go. So one. Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And relax there. Lovely. All right, for the next one, we're only going to be doing five of these, but we're going to be doing five on each leg. We're going to be doing single leg squats. So these have been standing. Now, don't worry if you don't feel comfortable standing on one leg. There is a variation of it that I'll go through as well. However, what we're going to do for the majority of you that want to give it a go is all we're doing for a single leg squat is we're holding one leg up, making sure our back's nice and straight, and we're just coming down with our knee, coming over our two big toes, coming down like so, and back up. So, like that. We're going to do it five times one side, and then you're swapping to five on the other. Now, if you feel uncomfortable doing that, that's fine. A variation of it that you can do is going to a tandem stance, so one foot in front of the other, lifting the back heel, like you can see just the corner of my heel of my side up, um, foot on the floor, heels up in the air of the back foot, and you're just going to be coming over that front leg. So you've got both feet still on the floor, but you're not putting any weight through that back leg. It's all going through the front. Now you're going to do five on one side and then you'll just swap and do five on the other. Okay, so if everyone's happy with that, we'll go straight into it. So it doesn't matter which side you start with, just pick a side and we're going to be doing five reps. So ready? Three, two, one, and go. So one, two, three, four, five, and swapping on the other side. One, two, Three, four, five. Excellent. And relax there. We're going to come back into the chair and we're going to be doing leg raises. So for this one, all we're going to be doing is legs are out in front and we're lifting up like so towards the stomach. Okay. We're going to be doing that 10 times. Okay. So we're starting in three, two, one, and go. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Lovely. Now for the next one, we're going to have a break quickly while we just go through the next exercise for you guys that want to continue. And remember, you can press pause but you need to have a break. This one, we're going to be doing bicep curls now. There's two ways you could do this one, either leaning up with your back against the wall or in the chair. Leaning up with your back against the wall will allow you to get a bit of a better stretch, a better positioning um, with your elbows. However, if there isn't a wall free, like in my house there's a wall free, especially with the tree being here, um, then doing it in seated is fine. But what you basically do is if you imagine that there's a wall behind me, just here where my hand is, all you'd be doing is you'd be leaning with your shoulders at the back, on the wall and you're just going to be doing bicep curls to the chest and slowly coming back down letting those elbows stretch out however if not seated in the chair perched forward slightly all you're going to be doing is coming down and then up towards the chest okay we're going to be doing this one 10 times now this is the last circle we'll be doing before we move on to a quick stretch at the end so we'll start in three two one and go so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lovely. We're then going to be moving on to the next exercise. Last lower limb exercise of the day. You're going to be using a resistance band again. Now for this one, we're going to have the band around our ankles, okay? So just be careful not to trip over it. If you want it a little bit higher, by all means you can do, but I'd say try not to bring it anywhere higher than the knees. All we're going to be doing is if the band, I've got a walk like a penguin. <laughs> With the band around our ankles, like you can see just at the bottom there, all we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing hip extensions or backward stepping. So holding on the back of that 
chair, all you're going to do is you're just going to take a step back, hold it for a second, and then pull it again. And we're just alternating. And we're going to do 10 in total. Okay? So we'll start in three, two, one, go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take that band away, move on to the last exercise. So, for the last one, you may need a tad bit of help if you struggle still with some arm mobility. But all we're going to be doing for this one, tipping forward, we're just going to be tapping our heels, leaning back. And as we lean back, arms come up above our head and back down again, and touching our heels like so. Okay? We're going to do that 10 times. This is the last exercise we're doing, and then we'll move on to a stretch to finish off with, okay? So, everyone, we're going to start in three, two, one, and go. It's coming down, and up. It's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lovely. And just give it a little bit of a shake. Good. So, well done today, everyone. That's the exercise is done with. Now, we are going to move into a quick cool down um, to finish off with. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on our trunk. So hands on our shoulders or holding hands together like that. All we're doing is we're just twisting one side to the other. So we're going to do this a few times, stretching out our spine. Lovely. Then we're going to bring knees to chest, hold it for a few seconds, then coming down. Just going to alternate a few times, coming up to the chest, back down. Good, last one. Lovely. What we're then going to do is we're going to rotate our shoulders forward. Down back. We're stretching our legs out in front and we're reaching down towards our toes. Hold it for a few seconds and coming back up, back down, and back up, and down once more, and back up. And then we're going to just finish off by bringing arms up in front, hold it for a few seconds, back down, good, coming back up, and back down, and one last time. And back down. Just going to give ourselves a little bit of a shake. Really so powerful. So, well done today, everyone. I hope you had a good session today and I hope you've been having a good Christmas so far. Um, like I said, next week, expect to see a Christmas hat on. I will be wearing one as we get closer to, to Christmas. Um, and yeah, I hope you continue to have a lovely Christmas. And yeah, I'll see you next week. Take care, everyone. Bye.